the uh, camp is inhabited by refugees. By definition, it's a refugee camp. And uh, if the United Nations is uh, dragging its feet on recognizing that camp as uh, a refugee camp, that was in uh, complacency with the government of Iraq. Minandigan Aziz, Goftgoi Darim Ba Aghaye Tahir Boumedra, Namayande Pishin Sazban Melal, Dar Iraq, Dar Mourad Ashraf. Aghaye Boumedra, Khil Tashakur Mokonam Az Shuma, Wa Khushal Asam Ke In Fursat Ra Dar Ikhtiar Ma Gharar Dadin. آیا بومتر شما از مشاهدات و تجربیات خودتون در اشرف چه برداشتی دارید؟ Well, as you know, I worked uh, with the Ashrafis for over three years. I interacted with them uh, on different occasions, uh, both in extremely difficult circumstances and also sometimes in a relaxed environment. Uh, they are highly friendly, they are very truth in what they are doing, very truthful, and uh, they are sincere. They are very sincere people. A lot of stories circulated here and there, and uh, I always hear uh, in a very impartial manner to all sides of the stories that come up. And the stories that came from the Ashrafis has always been the truthful one. That's my experience. شما در کنگره آمریکا در مورد موضوع اشراف و نقش سازمان ملل شهادت دادین. میشه در این مورد توضیح بدین لطفاً. You see my testimony comes uh, in the spirit of the United Nations Charter. The United Nations Charter is there to protect people, not governments. Unfortunately, the experience I witnessed in Iraq, the United Nations mission was there to help and support the government of Iraq. And government of Iran in suppressing the Ashrafis, making their life difficult, denying them the fundamental rights. And it's in this context that I had to choose between the practices of UNAMI or the fundamentals of the United Nations Charter. And of course, I went for the United Nations Charter's principles and values. Ay, Bumad, you came from Camp Liberty, and it was in the circumstances that Martin Kobler said that this camp is enough for the necessary facilities. Are you sure that this camp is enough for the necessary facilities? Are you sure that this camp is enough for the necessary facilities? I was the first person to visit Camp Liberty. And uh, I visited Camp Liberty nearly every week in order to assess the situation. We did assess the situation. There was different views on whether that place would accommodate in a decent manner the Ashrafis or not whether that place will keep the dignity of the Ashrafis. And I personally informed everybody that that place is not ready to accommodate 3,400 in a decent way uh, that keeps their dignity. So that was reported, but unfortunately, what really gets out of Baghdad doesn't necessarily represent the situation on the ground or my report. Sakinon Ashraf and Liberty are in Hassan that Camp Liberty is in the Camp Panahandigi from the side of the Sazman Melal to the side of the Sazman Melal. What is your view in this case? It goes without saying, if the uh, camp is inhabited by refugees, by definition it's a refugee camp. And uh, if the United Nations is uh, dragging its feet on recognizing that camp as uh, a refugee camp, that was in uh, complacency with the government of Iraq.